say good morning, but it's already after two o'clock, I think. Um, yes. <laughs> it's Sunday, May 26th, I think. Um, today was just supposed to be a chill day, but we ended up getting stuff done. <laughs> Uh, I was going to go upstairs in the art room to wind up yarn balls for the next project and I ended up doing that. I also ended up making another bag I saw in a video last night and um, I also uh, helped with um, Bob's artificial flower arrangement he wants for the front porch. Wi-Fi is connected. And we got all that done. He also did some stuff in the garage, did some cleaning, um, took his um, hot rod out for a spin and um give it a wash gave it a wash yeah we're we just finished lunch and i want to get some steps in but i've kind of decided that this congestion thing that's going on with me is not some germ that junior gave me i think it's just allergies really bad allergies so i'm gonna avoid walking around outside for the moment but we're gonna go over to walmart instead i'm gonna get some steps in over in walmart but also they might have tim horton's coffee According to their website, they should have it in stock. Aisle A17. We'll go see if that's we'll true. See. I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but we'll see if it's true. If they got I'll be it, back. We're buying it. We're buying more than one if they've got it. So there's that. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, guys. That now noise you hear in the background is our little robot vacuum friend Hazel. Um, she's not quite fully charged, but I have her working on round two. Um, as much as she will, especially in the kitchen. Um, two of the kids and grandson are coming over. My dad's driving down and we're having a barbecue. Today is Monday, May 26th. It is Memorial Day, a holiday in the United States. So we're gonna have a little barbecue, cook up some burgers and stuff. I got laundry started this morning. I um, got some more garbage cans emptied. I just got the vlog edited. I got the June inspiration word list for Patreon created, printed for my daily drawing uh, book. I got the post for Patreon created and scheduled. Um, I did have a crochet beanie uh, video that came out Friday. Completely forgot, I think, that it was coming out. But anyway, um, either it was the, yeah, I think it was the beanie one. I'll share it down below um I had I just took my my calcium supplements and because I have an issue with osteopenia but anyway um, I also started to see wiggly rainbows in the corners of my eyes those of you who have gotten migraines in your life know what I'm talking about maybe anyway it's my first sign take some Tylenol so I did that um I've got to finish doing the dishes. I've got to do the laundry. Oh, I've got to refill my pillbox. Um, there's a lot to do today before people come over. But first, I'm going to sit and chill. I'm going to have some water. I'm going to let my computer do its thing, get the vlog uploaded and scheduled, and get the trash can on the computer emptied and all that stuff, and then close it up. And then I will go downstairs, start putting the house back together, because right now all the chairs are up on the backs of the sofa and stuff so that Hazel can do some work. And um, yeah, and then we'll move on with the list. <laughs> Bob is not home right now. He's out with his Masonic brethren um, this for Monday morning coffee and he will be home later. I don't know, lunch maybe? Not sure. I'm not expecting anybody until after lunch, which is, I guess, might be a good thing because I still got quite a list to do. All right, I'll be back. Say today was the 26th. Today's the 27th. Oops. Hey, guys. <clears throat> it's the end of babysitting day, Tuesday, May 28th at 6.43 p.m. I think the husband is just wrapping up a late work meeting. Um... Junior went home quite a while ago and I took a shower, changed my clothes, and I've been up here crocheting ever since. I am working on a sweater. I've been bouncing back between thinking I have enough yarn, I don't have enough yarn, and it's the it's by Stitchberry and it's the Easy Crochet Summer Chop. 
this one. And it's a really easy pattern. I really like it. Is this the one that I... Yeah, so it's supposed to be front panel, back panel, and then you sew things together. I didn't do that. I did the body and the round. I think I already said that on camera. Um, and it fits really great, but I have two, let's see, one and a half more clusters of the pattern stitch repeat, which is, let's see, two, six more rows of half double crochet and two rows of little windows and then a decrease row and ribbing to do. And this is all I have left. I don't know if it's enough. I guess we'll find out. Um, it is Cascade Superwash, which, and, it, and it's a color that should be e easy to find, 1944. The problem is the dye lot, and if it doesn't match. Let's just hope I have enough. <laughs> Otherwise, I might just shorten the other sleeve and then make them match instead of buying yarn, because that's an option. All right. I'm going to make some dinner first, though. I think it's time for a food break. Uh, you don't get much eating and stuff in when Junior's here. He tries to feed me his baby crackers, which is cute and all. But not when he's snotty and bookery and sick from either allergies or cold or whatever the heck is going on with him that he's shared with all the adults in the family. Um, yeah. So there's that. All right, I'll be hey back. Guys, it's the end of a babysitting day and I kind of look like extra rounds of crap. But I was finishing up the sweater. I was playing a little bit of yarn chicken and I'll be honest. When I took a break to eat some food well i was googling anybody who might carry this yarn who might have the remotest chance of having the same dye lot in stock because i did buy it a while ago but not that long ago turns out i didn't need it hang on cascade 220 super wash wool color 1944 this is what i have left <laughs> so this game of yarn chicken i won and the sweater is done I just put the tag on it and I love it. I look like crap a little bit. Hold on. Okay. I look like crap a little bit because it's the end of babysitting day. So this is babysitting hair. Um, but this is a cute sweater. Now, of course, I've finished this sweater as we're headed into summer. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of wear out of it right now. But when the season does hit, I will be wearing it. What do you think? I love it. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 1025 a.m. Wednesday, May 29th. I'm having one of those mornings where I'm fighting with myself to just stay home and crochet or go out of the house. I kind of want to go for, and get some steps in, but my allergies have just been off the chart lately. I could go for a drive, but I'll probably buy stuff I don't really need. There is one craft slash yarn place I want to try over in Gresham, but that's like a 40 minute drive. I don't know. It's just one of those days. I'm going to sit and ponder a little bit more and then get off my behind and make a choice. I'll be back. It's just about 530 and I obviously decided not to go anywhere. <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it. I stayed home and crocheted all day. I'm working on a new sweater from a video here on YouTube. I will link her video down below. Um, it's a cute way, I think, easy way to make a sweater. And uh, it's not a yarn sucker um, because it's a very open stitch, but you could easily take her technique and do like uh, half double crochets or something that would use up more yarn and make it more solid. Um, but I really like um, her idea of the way she's put, putting the sweater together, the measurements work really well. Um, of course, I'm obviously, if you go to the video, it's for a crop top. I'm too old to wear a crop top. It's not happening. So she says in the pattern to, to, you know, 
crochet it to here or as long as you want, which is what I'm gonna do. I did, instead of starting off the neckline with single crochet, I started it off with some ribbing instead. I did um, the large size, so I did 104 rows of ribbing instead of 104 chains, and then I continued on as is. Um, when I'm done with the sweater, I will put some ribbing at the bottom and probably around the armholes. I just, I think it gives it a finished look and I like the way that looks, so anyway. I'm gonna go check the mailbox one more time because the mail wasn't here earlier. And yeah, hubby's still working. He's been in and out of meetings all day today, so I don't know how late that's gonna happen, but what are you gonna do? I'll just keep crocheting. I'll be back. So hubby had to work a little late and there was some other stuff going on with his mom's estate, so he was on the phone with his brother. Anyway, it's probably almost eight o'clock. Obviously, we're out for a walk. Uh, 7.45. 7.45, see. I've had some dinner. We jokingly call it prison food. <laughs> Toast and broth. <laughs> but anyway, um, Mr. will eat when we get back. Um, the pattern that I spoke of earlier that I've been working on is so easy. You guys, I haven't had to adjust anything. The only alteration I've made so far is starting with the ribbing around the neck rather than uh, chains. So I'll, I'm, all, I'm like three quarters done already. It works up very quick. It's a very loosely crocheted sweater. So again, if you don't like that, you're gonna wanna use a tighter stitch, but her measurements are spot on. So anyway, all right. Gonna go get some steps. I can't talk and breathe at the same time. <laughs> Not while I'm walking. I can't do that either. All right. <laughs> I'm not that coordinated. All right. I'll be back. It's 9.30 a.m. on Thursday, May 30th. And it's babysitting day. Junior's on his way over. And I've already prepped his snacks for the day. I made some pasta salad, <clears throat> which I enjoy eating, and so does Opa. Um, we'll see if Junior does. I have no idea. I haven't made it for him before, so we'll see. Anyway, I got all that morning chore stuff done, including dishes, so I maybe can sit down for five minutes until he gets here. We'll see. I'll be back. It is 10 a.m. Friday, May 31st. I am doing extra babysitting today just after lunch. So this morning I'm out just doing a few like fun errands. I just stopped at Dollar Tree and I got some of their new to me dish drying mats. They have this really cute bumblebee pattern. They have a lot of patterns, but I like the bee pattern and I saw some videos on YouTube recently where they made tote bags and things out of them. So we're gonna try that. Uh, I happen to have some black webbing, so it only cost me $5 for the mats. I got four of them. And anyway, we're going to go to Goodwill and Value Village before we go home and have lunch and babysit and maybe do a little bit of crocheting. And yeah, we're on the lookout for sweaters to unravel this morning. We'll see if we find any. It's difficult to find. All right, I'll be so back. So I'm all done and headed home. Found three sweaters at Goodwill. I want to clean and um, unravel uh, to reuse the yarn for something else. And then um, I found a cute linen top at Value Village. Didn't expect to find that. Um, and a pair of knitting needles. I don't even knit, but I would like to pick it up again maybe at some point. Anyway, um, I also stopped at Walmart to get a few food, food things. And while I did, I almost got nailed by a giant pallet of frozen fish, like literally a few inches forward. And I wouldn't be speaking to you right now because I'd probably be in the ER. Um, yeah, he didn't have it stacked very well and he didn't see me. I did see somebody coming out, so I knew to stop, really thankfully. Nice it wasn't my fault. I wasn't being clumsy, although I am clumsy. Um, yeah, 
So that was fun. I helped him pick his pallet of things up off the floor and he kept apologizing. I said, it's okay. I didn't get hurt. It's fine. Things happen. <sighs> anyway, we're going to go home now and I'm going to have lunch. I'll be back. Nice. So this that I'm going to show you in a minute is from um, <clears throat> a pattern that I'll link below. It was for a crop top. I, ch I already said I chose not to do it that way. I added ribbing around the neck and ribbing around the sleeves and the bottom. I also made it longer because, hello, well, not a crop top girl. I'm a little old for that. Um, it's also the yarn from a thrifted sweater that I unraveled. And I'm going to be doing more of that and I'll shoot a video on it, but I got the idea from Engineering Knits and I will try to find the video of hers that I saw her do that and I'll link it below. Um, anyway, let me turn the camera, well, not around. Let me put it down and step back. Hold on. So this is how this turned out. I have white bike shorts on, but yeah, this is pretty cute. I... The sweater was mostly brown with some colors on it, color work on it. And so I put most of the color work up here and then the brown just down at the bottom. I like the way that turned out. I need to put a tag on it and I missed one end over here I have to fix, but what do you think? I like it. I have enough yarn left over to do something else. So I have a tank top pattern I might try. It. This is a cotton acrylic poly nylon blend. So this will be a good spring shirt to wear. And because it's thin and I'll need to wear like a little thin tank top or something underneath it, maybe. Um, but it will still be light enough that I could get away with wearing it. So unless it's like over 80. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It's 10.35 a.m. Saturday, June 1st. Happy June, everybody. Um, we are obviously in the truck and we are out running errands, but not running errands like in a super big hurry. We have to, it's Saturday, so it's grocery shopping day, but I think we're going to go for a little drive and husband needs a phone case for his new work phone. I want to go check out a uh, fabric and craft store in a city, a few cities away. Um, I need to pick up some medication at Target just random things and we may stop at one or two other places in between we're gonna go have a late lunch early dinner and then uh, out and then we will go grocery shopping later because why not all right i think that's it maybe all right i'll be back i almost forgot to close the vlog again it's not a new thing anyway bob and i did a lot of driving around today just because we could and had a good time doing it, had a late lunch, early dinner out, and then we went grocery shopping. Why is that the most frustrating thing of the day? Especially when there's two seemingly normal things on the list that you just can't find anywhere. Jimmy Bean pre-cooked sausage crumbles and jelly beans. We found the jelly beans finally. But you know... Anyway, when we did get home, I started another new sweater and it's based on the same pattern for the brown one that I just finished. Only this one's going to have a, a, a opening here, a little V opening here. Same short sleeve, same length. Hopefully I have enough sweater. I mean sweater, yarn for the sweater, but we'll see. Anyway, it's been a fun week. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you guys can do. Um... It's hard sometimes to squeeze all the creativity you want to do into everyday life, but it's important to make priorities to spend time with those you love doing what you love. And um, the rest of it will work itself out. If I can do it, you can. Anyway, check the video description for relevant links. Uh, questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And there are many ways to support the free content on my YouTube, YouTube channel, including Patreon, in that video description. So check it out. That's it for this week. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.